Welcome to the Barbara Sports Stadium here in Kumasi. And of course, we're in for a big fixture that will be match of the flair in football. Kumasi Asante, Kotoko, and Techiman City. And the fans will be looking ahead to the resurgent rounds of Kumasi Asante, Kotoko. Five games, and they have won four of those games and just picked up a defeat to our All Stars in midweek. And Techiman City picking up a John game with Ashanti Gold. So they come in with a lot of uh, energy, a lot of strength. And this is the first time actually they're playing Kumasi Asante, Kotoko in the Ghana Premier League. But for Kumasi Asante, Kotoko, it will be the second time they are playing a club from Techiman. The first time they did play a team from Techiman was Techiman Holy Stars way back in the 80s. And now they're in with Techiman City, a team that just got promoted to the Premier League this season. They've actually made their home ground in Techiman a fortress. Most clubs go there picking up defeat. The best will be a draw. How to folk did pick up a draw there. And so they are way performance. A bit of a party performance though, but uh, they're looking ahead to a very encouraging performance today against Kumasi Asante Koroko. So wherever you find yourself, you're most welcome to the Garden City. And of course, you're looking at Kumasi Asante Koroko and Techiman City with Stephen Menu, a former player of the Pokemon Warriors, now leaving the charges of uh, Techiman City. So we're in for a big game with one. Yeah, absolutely, you know, the, the price at stake is that Kotoko can be on top of the table at the end of the season. That's at the end of um, this week's run of games. If other results go their way, they are fifth on the table, two points, you know, behind the leaders. Wow, Stars, who's been Ojo, the man who has been part of the Kotoko setup for many years, is at the bench now for the team. And so, Benito Fori and Dauda Mohammed look set to be leading the attack for Kotoko and uh, Steven. Uh, Tiofos Nyami and uh, Steven Yanko also in there and he gets a free kick just on the edge of the 18 yard box and he knows that he will get the call from referee Kennedy Paddy and that was a huge challenge that came in from Patrick Sapong and Steven Yanko and Kotoko again Benito Fori they call Benito Fori back to get the ball and again, Kumasi Asante Kodoko is playing some quality and brilliance in the game, and it's a free kick now. And Archery Sapo, not happy man at all. Um, exactly so. Does he understand why? Enough to divert that ball, which was goal bound. But the Chuan City have been under pressure. And it is Benito Fori. Again. Michael Sack, can the Kanaka score? And the better wish you now. Again. Michael Sack, can the Kanaka score? Better to Fury. Again. Michael Sack, can the Kanaka score? Better to Fury. Open the scoring. What a costly mistake there. In the 22 minutes. With this. Drives the ball back. Well, that's enough. And now, there's a free fall fight now. Benetto Fori. Chunks the ball back again, looking for support. Kumasi Asante. Better Wushu picking things up for Kumasi Asante. Kodoko. That's where to drop down to the left hand side now. In with the long. Someone like Adeo is playing as a right back today. Context open for all.
nothing. He tries to work his way in between two defenders, but they just lock him out. I think he earned himself a free kick all alone. He'll need good service if he's going to make an impact. Benito Furi, he has to take the ball away from him, but Benito Furi wins back the tussle. Looks for support and he finds it on the side back. side back, so I should say. Ball comes back and Bennett says the cross. He hits the crossbar. Oh my word! That was an opportunity for Bennett Furi to have registered the first goal and Kotoko must be thanking their Christmas stars. Well, I think they have to because the defenders were very slow to cut down the time he had on the ball. Here we see from the replay. Brought it down well on the chest. It's gone to Afori and look at the time he has. I think it was deflected as well. Just hits the crossbar. And uh, Isaac Mwaku and Kotoko are saved. Look at this. No one shuts him down in time. Big advantage to break Omasana. It's Bennett Afori behind the ball. Are we going to see a Ronaldo star free kick? He sends it across! Probably a little head on, watch this. Looks as if he's going for it, but he's not. Look at that. The keeper would have been beaten, but unfortunately... Here we see it. We just see it when the ball is coming into the box. And a lovely little dink over. I mean, I guess he was trying to find as, um, as his answer. Bennett Ofori. And he go around his marker. Bennett Ofori. He gets in the cross, all right. Heads will go up. It's a break on mass in our head. The referee blows his whistle. And uh, George Sager on the far side has signaled for offside positioning. That was the replay once again. Ball coming close. And uh, Isaac Amwako coming out. Of course, the header went way once again. And the game continues with uh, Bennett Ofori.